Hi everyone, this is Beck from Beckstar, making okay. a purple look that you could definitely wear during the day and definitely transform for a night look. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is my favorite one. I tried another one, I think by Too Faced, and I didn't like it as much. Just gonna put this on. I know not everybody does this, but I like to apply it down a little underneath my eye. Uh, a lot of people only like to do it when they're doing a look that they pull the color underneath, but I like to do it every time. Next, we're going to be putting on the base color of this look, which is going to be Brulee from Mac. It's a nice tan color, and I'm going to be using an Elf brush. I think it's just called an eyeshadow brush, yeah, but um, I actually really like this, it's short and dense, it's really nice. So I'm just going to load that up, apply it all over my eye. Okay, so we have that as our base. The next, uh, we're going to take a NYX color. It's a jumbo pencil, and this one is yogurt. We're just gonna put this on the lid. I'm just gonna right up into the crease, is fine. Try not to pull so hard on your eyes. So that is just your base. Then on top of that, we're going to use Kitten Heel from Lancome. This is my favorite Lancome eyeshadow. I swear by it, die by it, love it. Um, you can see I'm hitting pan. And um, let me swatch it for you. It's like an iridescent kind of orangey color on that finger. It's iridescent, orangey, pinky. It's really pretty. It's multifaceted. So I'm going to be using a Sigma... SS239 that I just loaded up with Kitten Heel. I'm just going to put that through and a little bit into my crease and a little bit above. Next, we're going to actually keep with the Lancome family. We're going to use Color De Jour and it's a purple color. Let me swatch it for you. So right, so I'm going to take my Sigma SS275, just like a little taper, and load this color up. And I'm just going to put it in here and up through the crease and then a little above the crease same on the side right in here and then a little above yeah. Now we're going to take the Sigma SS224, which is the MAC 224 dupe. We're going to just take this and do small circles through here to blend it through so it's no harsh lines. It's 209. It's a little baby. And I'm just going to load it up with the pigment from the Bare Essentials and I'm just going to sweep it across here and it gives like a the illusion of having that liquid eyeliner on but it's not as harsh. This is also a good trick if you're not very good at doing liquid eyeliners and you mess up a lot this is a lot easier to correct and you have more control over this because it's a powder. So the next we're going to take mascara, because who doesn't love mascara, and we're going to just apply that. I'm using Maybelline Colossal, I love this, I think it's really pretty. I think that it doesn't get enough recognition, because I like this better than some of my department store makeup, but oops. And then just to the bottom lashes. Okay, so now we're going to move into 
color for the face and I'm going to be using Runway by Cargo. This is a really fun palette and I've used it a ton on the bronzer as you can see. I love that bronzer. And I don't know if you can see it, but see there's like made to look like cable knit sweaters and little buttons. It's Runway. So I'm going to be using the bronzer and the blush from this. So I'm going to take this Sigma um, SS 150 and I'm going to apply it into the pink and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my eyes, my eyes, the apples of my cheeks and up to my eyes. And I'm going to take the bronzer on here and I'm just going to dust through here. And then I'm just going to pull a little bronzer down through my chin, down my neck, and just a light dusting everywhere else. I have, I have, you can see I have an indent in my cheekbone. And so it's, I don't have to do too, too much contouring. Uh, Kara is actually a little more interested in contouring than I am. But if you want to hear more about that, let us know, and she will definitely show you. Anyway, so this is the look, dark look that you could definitely wear during the day though and I really the lighting is really weird but at least you have the steps on how to do it and I would match this with a nude lip probably I prime my prep my lips with a, a lip gloss I mean a chapstick is or actually I think it was Vaseline lip treatment but I'm gonna put over this um tinted lip balm in champagne from Bobbi Brown oh that's a, oh no that was her set up it's the camera so it's just like a nice chapstick. That's it. Very cute, very pretty. Come here. I'm going to take some pictures so hopefully the light will be more true. And enjoy. And I'm wearing a really cute dress. Can you see how cute it is? It's like, this is these cute little straps.